Hi, that's me, Kevin, your friendly reporter. How I ended up clinging for my life to a rope, well, that's this week's adventure. Some folks fly all kinds of places for an adventure, but maybe it's right outside your front door. This is how to be northbound and around. Once upon a time, I lived in Tokyo, where I was reporting on things like cherry blossoms. Then I moved to Plattsburgh and my producer Bill, that's Bill, decided I should start doing reports about things that might get me killed. So he suggested I go rock climbing. To prepare, I immediately began eating like a rock climber. Not your usual. <laughs> no, I'm going rock climbing. You, you're going rock climbing. Yeah. I gave up my sedentary life and started exercising like a rock climber until I was in peak physical condition. This did not go as well as I hoped. Neither did eating like a rock climber. Well, this is it. The Crux, Champlain Valley Climbing Center in Willsboro, New York, where I will climb and hopefully not fall off a very large wall. Well, well I guess no one's here. Come on in, welcome. Damn it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you tonight? Scared. This is my first time ever trying to rock climb. I have no idea what I'm doing. I can barely get off the sofa. Uh, so, what do I do? That's all right. That's okay. We have a lot of new climbers coming, and this is a really great place to learn. Well, I have to do it. You have to do it. Yes. I'm, I'm going to survive. You will survive. There's no saying no to this. All right. <laughs> Everything you can need for a night of climbing is available for you at the Crux, with reasonable rates that make it cheaper than a night out bowling. Shoes, chalk, ropes, and training are all provided on site. Different walls afford different levels of challenge, and the Crux even has a place to try your hands at caving. The only thing you need to bring is a sense of adventure. So, great climbing. Whoa, that's a strong, <laughs> that's a strong slap. At the top, since I'm not that tall, it's kind of hard to jump and grab. Uh, to get up. Wait, jump and grab? These kids are putting me to shame. I think it's that they don't understand the fear of death yet. How do you feel about heights? Um, you know what? Actually, I was uh, afraid of heights at the time, <laughs> but one of the things that you realize in climbing that uh, a lot of the climbing has to do with trust, not only with yourself, but also with your partner, but also definitely overcoming fears that you have. Do you remember your first climb? Yes, what, I do. what was the feeling like for you the first Terror. time? <laughs> That's all I could say. Terror. Just... No, I got about 10 feet up and I said to Kate, let me down, let me down. And then I got down and I went back up and I got like halfway up. And I was, I'm terrified of heights. Mm. I'm still terrified still of Still terrified of heights. But when I'm on a rope, mm. I'm fine. Watching children scale the walls like highly caffeinated spider monkeys made me realize this was all being filmed for television. And while death is bad, so is being shamed by children on so TV. If you look at mine, right? I've got my waist strap, so it's fairly high. <laughs> <laughs> kind of around your waist there, near your belly button. Good. Hopefully this will suck in my gut. <laughs> We're gonna go back up through the front. Okay. And that's it. Um, if I do this, can I put this on my dating profile that I'm a rock climber? I want to look after my dog if I don't make it back from this. Wait, so I should go up higher? Yeah. When I get back to the office, my producer and I are gonna have a very big talk about my career path. There's plenty of things I like to be a natural at, and I never thought this would be one of them. Why couldn't it be I'm a natural at accounting? Do I have insurance? I don't think I do have health insurance. <laughs> I never would have believed that I could have done this. Thank you, this is amazing. I just did a thing I never would have believed I could have done. I did that like a pro. I was so good at that. I was not scared at any point before I tried it and 
So the camera and people at home know, I at no point was nervous or had any fears. I just did that amazingly like a pro, because that's... That was awesome, first time. So you were hooked? Totally, totally hooked. There's something uh, amazing about climbing that just captures you. And uh, once you start doing, you just don't want to stop. Something new for a lot of people where they've never done it before, but it's also, you know, kind of a social thing. It might be a new sport that you enjoy. Oh, oh no, I'm going to be back. <laughs> Good. I'm going to be back a lot. And someday, maybe I won't, like, break down in tears halfway up the wall. No, it gets uh, better. Well, I did it. And you can, too. The Crux Climbing Center is an amazing place for families, couples, friends, or even to go alone and unwind after a stressful day of work. With day passes starting at $10 for adults and $8 for kids, it's an affordable and amazingly enjoyable option for something a little different to do. It's one more thing you must try when you are northbound and around. Northbound and Around is brought to you in part by Northeast Liveline. Phenomenal. Cool. Where do you want to go next? Bed. <laughs> like a nice long nap. Maybe a, maybe a burger. <gasps> Some fries. <laughs>